Happy Pride, everyone. It's Stephanie. And today we are going to be talking about the upcoming Polish Pickup. So if you don't know, Polish Pickup is a monthly collaborative shop where different nail polish makers all come together to create nail polishes based on a particular theme. Me and my friend Danny Shout, who have a podcast together called Two Lacquered Ladies, we do Polish Pickup Bingo every single month. And if you want to join us for Polish Pickup this month, it will be on Sunday the 30th at 4 p.m. PST on my Twitch channel. That's Fanatic here. So Danny and I have been doing Polish Pickup Bingo for a couple of years now, a few years, I'm not exactly sure. So over that time, of course, we have become familiar with a lot of the polishes and we have uh, gotten a lot of Polish Pickup polishes. And I was so excited this year to see how many of my favorite polishes were coming back, including some of my absolute top tier faves. I am so excited. So I just wanted to do a little video showing you all of the polishes that I love that are coming back to polish pickup. And also on this list will be a stamping plate that I really love. And also there will be a polish that's available on one of the makers websites because for rewind polish pickup allows makers to bring back a polish to the regular polish pickup shop, but they'll also let them re-release one on their own shop. So uh, let's go through it. These are in vaguely uh, least favorite to favorite order vaguely like there's definitely some that I'm like eh, mm, mm. but I am just so excited to share these with you and I hope that if you have been seeing them like in my videos and things that uh, you can add them to your collection if you're interested so let's go all right first off we have sassy sauce wet spot so I love wet spot this is a beautiful teal green polish it has a gorgeous pink to gold shimmer in it. There might be some holographic like scattered throughout, but there definitely is this very bold gold reflective in it. I really love a gold reflective. That's definitely my favorite color for reflectives. And this hasn't been in any of my list because I wanted to put this into my like multicolored polish list. There's going to be a video in my color series where I just share my favorite polishes that I really don't feel comfortable nailing down one color for. And this is one of them. So this is themed after Jason Momoa as Aquaman and it's called Wet Spot. As I've already said, I love Jason Momoa. And when I saw this, I was like, I absolutely need to have this in honor of uh, my beloved Jason. So yeah, I think this is such a pretty polish. I did kind of a crappy job when I swatched this, especially on my middle finger. So don't take my word for it um, with how it applies. Mine's a bit old. I think I need to add a little more polish thinner, but I did wear it when I first got it and it was absolutely lovely. It's beautiful to look at. I love Sassy Sauce. I'm always impressed by their formulas and what they think of to put in their polish. And I love Jason Momoa. So I think that if you are a Jason Momoa fan, this might be the perfect polish for you. Anyway, this is Sassy Sauce Wet Spot. All right, up next we have Envy Lacquer Poison Garden. So Poison Garden is this beautiful blue to green shifting metallic. Um, it's kind of like a large particle metallic shimmer. And it also has these black little specks throughout. This polish is a very concise polish. It doesn't have a ton of different components in it. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. On the podcast, somebody asked Danny and I which polishes we would give to some of our favorite historical figures. And um, I gave this polish, quote, gave this polish to Oscar Wilde because I think that he would find it absolutely beautiful. And it also reminds me of a pendant that he has in a movie called Velvet Goldmine. Uh, so I just think this one's so beautiful. I had to get it because I love Envy Lacquer's Grandpa's Garden. And I think that this is a perfect accompaniment to that polish. So yeah, it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. You can see in the swatch, this is Envy Lacquer Poison Garden. All right, up next is a total cult classic. I know so many people who have this polish. And this is the second time in a row that this polish brand has brought this back to PPU Rewind. That is how popular this polish is. This is Dreamland Lacquer Shake Your Shamrock. So this is such a gorgeous slime green polish with a blue shimmer. I think that this is just incredible. It came out for, I think it was a fast food themed, actually a polished pickup is what I think it was. Or maybe it was Maker's Choice, I'm not sure. 
But this came out and it was so gorgeous. People were just dying over it. And then I think I heard that the next month was Rewind and they brought this back then. Uh, they definitely brought it back to Rewind within the same year that they made it. But yeah, when it came back to Rewind, I had to get my hands on it and I did and I love it so much. This is so beautiful under black light. This is also one of those kinds of polishes that photographs gorgeously. Some polishes, including ones on this list, they don't photograph as well as like the swatchers photograph it. Um, but this one looks so amazing in person and in photographs. And I've used it as a background in Chroma Depth nail art. Like I said, it looks wonderful under black light. And it's great for if you want like a solid neon background, but you want something a little bit more, just a little bit more like I had with my uh, spooky babes over here. So yeah, this is Dreamland Lacquer Shake Your Shamrock. It is an absolute cult classic. I love it. If you get it, you'll love it. I guarantee it. All right, up next is a pretty new one to polish pick up, a pretty new one to my collection. In fact, this is one I wanted to put in my favorite purples, but I didn't own it yet. Anyway, this is Monarch lacquer truth or dare so this is a gorgeous purple jelly it has a blue shimmer in it and it has these multi-shaped black glitters in it some people say this is pink and i respect your point of view i think that this is more purple than pink but like i love it like i love a pink so uh call it what you will this is just an amazing polish that blue shimmer is absolutely popping like I cannot get enough of this polish when I finally got it and put it on I was just so amazed at how gorgeous this is like I cannot get I just said it already I can't get enough of it it is so so beautiful if you love a pink with a blue shimmer or if you love a uh, purple with a blue shimmer depending on what you think this is you are gonna absolutely love monarch lacquer truth or dare get your hands on this one I'm begging you, it's so good. All right, up next, another incredibly iconic polish. This is by Danny Viana Rosewater. So by Danny Viana Rosewater is this beautiful shimmer that um, it's shifty to a lot of different colors, but mostly I just see blue in it. And it has these little pink rose petal flecks in it. I don't know what this glitter that they use is, but it is so cool. It's the coolest thing ever. This is such an amazing topper. I've used it on a topper on a few manis. You could also wear it as a solo polish. I wouldn't. I tried. I'm not a big fan of it. But as a topper, it's fantastic. The one thing I wish is that Danny Viana would release just these petals. Because sometimes I just want to use the petals and I don't want the shimmer in it. But I'd rather have the petals than not have the petals. So I'll deal with the shimmer. It's fine. But yeah, if you just want a banging topper, pick up by Danny Viana Rosewater. All right, now the last of the polishes coming directly to polish pick up, but absolutely not least, is one... I literally thought I would never see in polish pickup again. This polish is absolutely iconic to me. I got a fill line on it the first month that I owned it. I love it so much. And I just didn't ever think that that the maker would bring it back. I just didn't think they would. I didn't think it was popular enough, but I am so glad they did. Oh my God, my beautiful baby. This is Cuticula Never Sleep again oh my god so cuticle never sleep again is this gorgeous metallic large particle red shimmer that at extreme angles you can kind of see a gold in there's also a tiny smattering of holographic glitter and there are little black flecks you know i love the little black flecks i literally never thought i'd see her again i literally never thought anybody would have an opportunity to buy her again but she is back and i love her so much this was my number one red in my reds video now this is always fighting for dominance with orly moy caliente on my favorite reds but like both of those reds are just like they're two of my favorite polishes of all time i would say they're probably in my top five we've got like what uh synthetic symphony cirque wild berry west cuticula never sleep again orly moy caliente like this is so up there so if you love reds uh if you love life and beauty and everything wonderful and shiny <laughs> you should get your hands on this like i cannot tell you how much i love this um, every Halloween, I do a Spooky Hose Manny. I already showed you one with Dreamland Lacquer Shake Your Shamrock. But two years ago, I used Cuticula Never Sleep Again. And I'll probably do another Halloween Manny with this this year. Like, 
I just love this polish so much. I really hope that if you love reds, you can get your hands on this. I think I'm going to get another bottle. This to me is just absolutely priceless. This is Cuticula Never Sleep Again. All right, the last item coming back to the Polish Pickup website I want to talk about is a stamping plate. And that stamping plate is Hit the Bottle Retro Patterns Mid-Century Modern. So I love this stamping plate and there is one big reason I love this stamping plate. It has a shining carpet on it, or as we like to call it, a shiny carpet. Uh, it has the this carpet pattern that you see in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. I really love that pattern. I think it's a really cool pattern. I really love The Shining. So when this came out, I already had a shining carpet pattern, but it was on a Mundo de Uñas plate. Those plates are just a little less quality than the Hit the Bottle plate. So I was so excited to see it on Hit the Bottle plate. But in addition to that, there's just so many awesome little mid-century modern designs on this. If you love the Jetsons or Austin Powers or anything mid-century modern, if you're into that vibe, and a lot of people are right now, this is such a great plate. It's got so many cool designs on it that I haven't used yet because I've used a shining carpet pattern like three times already. But it is so cool. I think that this is wonderful. There's even like a little city skyline. There's spaceships. It's just so freaking cool. So I highly recommend this plate. And Hit the Bottle has really high quality plates. So this is Hit the Bottle Retro Patterns Mid-Century Modern. And like I said, a lot of the makers are bringing polishes back to their own websites as well. So the one that I want to talk about for this season is Polished for Days Barbie on the Boardwalk. So Barbie on the Boardwalk is this gorgeous neon pink with a blue shimmer. You know I love pinks with blue shimmers. This, for some reason, didn't end up on my favorite pinks list. I think it was because I had so many pinks with blue shimmers and this one was just a little bit less like emotionally charged for me. But this polish is so gorgeous. I am wearing it right now. In my viewfinder, this isn't quite looking as vibrant as it does in person for me. So definitely check out my swatches. But yeah, this is just so gorgeous. It absolutely glows. People always ask me what I'm wearing when I'm wearing this. Now in the pictures that were provided by Polished for Days, the blue in this like almost glows off the top of it, like it's bouncing off. I have occasionally experienced that to the human eye while wearing this polish, but I'm unable to capture that on camera. Um, and also I don't see it very often. So just be aware, you, you might not get that exact same effect, but I do feel like I've seen it a few times with my naked eye. This is a great dupe for Cirque Colors Flamingo from their California Dreaming Collection. Of course, that is actually available right now unless it's sold out. Uh, but that was on my favorite pinks video. And I just like held them up to each other because I have a brand new bottle of Cirque Flamingo. And I think that they're very, very close. I think that Cirque Flamingo is a little bit more creamy, but neither of them fully cover nail line. So uh, if you're looking for one to be more opaque than the other, they're, they're really just uh, the same. So this will be available on the Polish for Days website. I don't remember what days, so I will add that down below. And I think it's wonderful. And if you don't want that nail line, they sell a bunch of blurring bases. I've never tried them, but if you do, and if you have them, let me know how you feel about them. Let me know if you like them. All right, so that is it for my recommendations for Polish Pickup Rewind for this year. Um, if you listen to my podcast that's coming out on Wednesday, Danny and I talk a little bit about this as well. She shares some of her favorites, and I also share ones that I don't quite recommend. I haven't gotten around to swatching them again for this video, so I decided not to include them, but uh, all the more reason that you should go check out my podcast. I also want to mention that we are still raising money for Equality Florida. As you know, this month is Pride Month, and me and a bunch of my friends are raising money for Equality Florida, which is Florida's only statewide civil rights organization dedicated to preserving the rights of queer Floridians. So please donate if you can. The link will be in the description. We are up to, I believe it is $435 last time I checked. If we combine what I've made on Twitch, what we've made through the direct link to Equality Florida, and what we made during two streams where I donated everything that I made during the stream. My husband and I will be matching up to $500 of donations. So please help us get to that point so we can donate a whole thousand dollars to this amazing charity 
disparity. Florida and many other states are having a seriously hard time with new laws that are restricting the rights of the LGBTQ plus community. So anything you can do to help our siblings in the other states, or if Florida is your own state, uh, would be just so incredibly wonderful. Anyway, everybody, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a really excellent day. Be excellent to yourselves, be excellent to each other, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.